A history teacher, you say? Are you perhaps interested in the old tale I told in class? Yes. A vessel, a sword, a set of tablets, and a set of beads. After obtaining the four treasures, the king's castle was destroyed. Because those four treasures were actually four Pokemon. And these Pokemon were passed from human hand to human hand as treasure. They slowly became tainted. It is said that the four Pokemon were then sealed away somewhere in Paldea. Cursed treasure, the four Pokemon of Ruin. They exist! Pokemon wielders apparently use sacred stakes to seal these treasures of Ruin in shrines. A separate shrine for each of the four Pokemon, and eight stakes driven into the ground in the area surrounding each shrine to keep the power of Ruin at bay. Ah, oh, yeah, there's one. If all the stakes for a given shrine were to be removed, it would release the Pokemon held inside. Don't you think it would be nice to free those Pokemon from their confines of their tiny shrines? <laughs> yes, let's bring Ruin to the world. I will mark the locations of these shrines on your map. It feels like she wants me to release these evil Ruin Pokemon. I would go myself, of course, but skipping out on my classes to go adventuring seems to have made the director a little suspicious. Think of it as part of your treasure hunt. Treasures of Ruin are still treasures after all. Oh yeah, there's one. Ground Blight Shrine, Fire Scourge Shrine, and the Grass Wither Shrine. I've registered 200 pieces- oh yeah, it's been a while since I went and talked to you, hasn't it? <laughs> 20 quick balls, oh thank you! For your next goal, it's finally time for you to complete the decks, aim for 400. Oh, he's gonna be excited, I'm only 4 off. I think I have a map here somewhere. Of all the, the stakes in the ground that I need to do for the shrines. Alright, let's go! This close to town, huh? Oh yeah, there it is. An ominous black stake driven into the ground. Will you pull it out? Yes. I don't care about consequences of anything. It crumbled and vanished. I guess we're going climbing. Oh yeah, I see it there. What have we got here? Absolutely nothing. Wait, how'd you get in front of me? How the tables have turned. I have one of the ones in this area. At least I think I pulled it up when I saw it last time. Ooh, close. The cave entrance is down here somewhere. Oh, there is one here. Ah, oh, here we go, yeah. It's not well marked. I thought there was a pathway. But yeah, I think I have this one. I think it was, like, just generally in front of me now. Let's see if I can see it from above. Yes, I can. I'm gonna scare Terran. Boo! <laughs> Doink. Oh, there it is. I see it. Cuckoo. Hear a mysterious cry coming from the shrine. Oh, there it is. Can't teleport to it, can I? No. Is this the shrine cave? Where is that dang shrine? <laughs> it's on the top here. It says I'm on top of it now. Oh, it's on the cliff. Sneaky little. Hello. Touch the shrine. A faint sound is coming from within the shrine. Will you touch the shrine? Yes. Okay. <laughs> the, the mountain collapsed. Kabang! There was a cave-in. Oh, this one looks cool. Sword of Ruin. Chien Pao. This one is very cool. I like this one. It's just a cat. <laughs> but it's a cool cat. Oh, it's woken up. I like how the fangs are two halves of swords, yeah. That's a nasty attack. Oh my god, there's another one behind it. They're multiplying. Oh, he's just leapy one back there. It's like not even wiggling a little bit. Yeah! Suddenly it went from one wiggle to insta catch. Nice. Chien Pao. Why does it have a Chinese name? I thought this was based in Spain or whatever. No, wait, this was connected to the artifacts from a distant land, wasn't it? Yeah, the merchant from a distant land brought the artifact, yes. And this is probably the sword one. That's why the sword is snapped in half and on it. The hatred of those who perished by the sword long ago had has clawed itself in snow and become a Pokemon. I think it was the four disasters or something, yeah. Three to go. Oh, look at you sleepy little guy. Faint writing is carved into the shrine. The ruined sword seal has been broken. Okay, let's continue. Shall we do the other south one? Ooh, this one's purple. This is my favorite. Dang it, be here just, just before me. I swear you're a ghost and you just fly wherever you want. 
I think I've seen the next one here when I was passing through. Please ignore the popping graphics in the distance. Oh, I'm gonna land on the Pokemon. Nope, that poor LeChonk wouldn't have deserved that. I'm missing one right next to the shrine, which is kind of convenient. I got distracted while the Pokeball was laying around. <laughs> Skrrr. You hear a mysterious cry coming from the shrine, which is mysteriously right below me right now. Very convenient. Breloom, let's see how you do this time. Oh, it's like a rock slug. Scribe. I was expecting something a little more purple, but... Tablets of Fruin. Oh, this is the one that's immune to Spore. Okay, I won't even try that. I'm just gonna fall swipe it. <laughs> Oh, it's healing up again. Ooh, this is gonna be annoying. I'm gonna attack because Soul will instantly kill it, but he's gonna tank a little bit for us. He's not gonna tank for us anymore. Jeez. It's sleeping! It made itself fall asleep. Oh, this is the this is the chance. Wait, why is it still attacking? It was sleeping. It's sleep for one turn. It's like, oh power nap. No, it's still sleeping. It's not awake though, it still has the sleep. Oh wait a second, Terran, you sleek sneaky little sneak, you put a sleeping thing behind it, didn't you? I'm like, well, it doesn't say sleeping on it. Thing, it's not it's not able to kill Tink at the moment because leftovers is healing her back to full health again. <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> oh, it's walking away. Would timer balls maybe be good now? <laughs> I guess timer ball works really well. Wu Jin. It drains the life force from vegetation causing nearby forests to instantly wither and fields to turn barren. So is Wu Qin the entire reason for the swamp thing over there in this area? It judges you with its eyes. Yeah, I bet it sucked the life out of this entire swamp region here. Top right then, shall we? Ooh, pretty. Okay, let's start climbing. No, it is the DLC wall, yeah. It's probably not going to be the DLC, but I just call it that. Going down fast here. Is it down here? Terran's here already, but the stake is not. Maybe I found this one already. Yeah, I must have gotten this one. Oh, there it is. Come on! We got a head start because Terran crashed into a Pokemon. <laughs> it popped in, yeah. Yeah, I was first. I just fly down, it's nazzy. Where are you? He wasn't even in the mountain, it's down here somewhere. He's already gone. Can you even climb up here? It's not too steep. But Terran has bamboozled himself. Oh crap, it is too steep. Haha! I wouldn't be surprised if Terran was just standing here. He's not. I was first. I think we're gonna start losing altitude before I get to this cliff here. Oh yeah, we're starting to go down, but I think it's fine. Actually, I landed right where I needed to be. <laughs> Waterfall. <laughs> what an appropriate place to put it. Spispa. Whoop. Ooh, this is kind of cool. Oh, it is in here. There's a very poor Doug Trio stuck underwater here, and it's trying to get up, but it just can't. That Doug Trio is definitely dead. <laughs> Why is your Pokeball still there? But. That's definitely a firefish. <laughs> it's kind of cute, though. Oh god, I have Breloom at the start of my team. Spore! It works! Sleepy fish. Why is the goldfish not part water? I guess it's just energy though that formed into a fish. It's not actually a fish. No burn. Ruination is always, always painful. Problem is faster than this one though, which is a big plus. I'm just boss swipe you down a little bit more. Oh, you're in the red now.
Okay, that one was the easiest one to catch. I was worried that Breloom was gonna struggle a bit, but it did not. Terran, you're not a Pokeball anymore! Oh, I'm so happy. The Pokeball stuck to your hand. Wait, is it actually? Oh yeah, I've got one to go. Look who it is. <laughs> Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> I have a feeling we can't climb up here. Is it maybe inside here though? Oh, it is inside here. I'm gonna just follow him. He knows where he's going. Oh, yeah, it is down there. On the topic of collecting things, I didn't actually find it to be that painful to collect, I guess, 1,000 coins for a Gimme Ghoul. I thought it would be worse than it was, but those boxes that give you 50 coins actually help quite a lot. It reminds me of those, uh, is it like car rental places? Those men that like flow in the wind? <laughs> it reminds me of those. Wait, it is supposed to be on a tiny island, isn't it? Oh, it's on the side there. It's around here somewhere I can smell it. There. Ah, there it is. What a weird place. <laughs> like, right on the side of the mountain. Okay, let's go. Though Tink's shiny was also a little bit disappointing. Like, I wish her, her entire body changed color, but I think it's only the hammer that changes into a bronze instead of an iron color. Last one, do it for the history professor. That's a spooky guy. King Lu. Oh, this one's tanky. Oh, I woke up instantly, okay. If woke up again, <laughs> only one attack. If you wake up again, I swear. Fast asleep, okay. Okay, now he's a sleepy boy. Yeah, Ruination definitely halves your health. Yeah! And that's the Pokedex completed! slowly brings its exceedingly heavy head down upon the ground, splitting the earth open with huge fissures that run over 160 feet deep. Bam! Number 400. It scooped you up in its big bowl. If only you could use that as like a riding Pokemon and you just like sit in the bowl as it runs. <laughs> a ceremonial vessel actually, not a bowl. It's a ceremonial bowl. <laughs> uh, okay, we need to go and show off to the professor now. Professor! I captured all the ruination things. Oh, how interesting! I simply cannot keep my curiosity under control. I don't know what's going on with her hair, but it's hilarious. <laughs> it's like bouncing all over the place. I reckon that her hair moves more and more the more excited she gets. If you ever want to study the Pokemon, I've got them all in my bank. Just let me know. Nasty plot. What are you trying to imply here, Professor? I think that's all of her quests done. We need to go talk to my homeroom teacher. Every single Pokemon there is to find in Palais. Exploring the region on your own two feet is a real treasure for an experience, isn't it? You know, I think you deserve a special diploma. <gasps> Come see me in the biology lab back at the Uwu Academy when you have some time. A beast ball. That's it. Complete- Oh, nice. You've completed the Pokedex. Ooh, I got a little badge thing there too. Yeah, why did we get a beast ball? There's no ultra beasts in this game. That's kind of weird. You're telling me you already registered 400 Pokemon? Wow! You visited this strange shop the other day and happened to pick up a little something something. So what have you got for me, Professor? The shiny charm? Yeah, there we go. Having one of these mysterious shining charms makes it more likely you'll encounter shiny Pokemon, but how much does it increase the chance? The director is here too. This student of mine completed their Pokedex. Upon my word. Gasp. What a marvelous accomplishment, Master Ray. A gift from Clavel too. This congratulatory message penned by the company that certifies Pokedex completion is for you. Oh my god. 
look at it. Diploma, Trina Rainey. We hereby certify your achievement of completing the Pokedex. May this great feat be celebrated by all. Game Freak. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you. Here, let me just uh, hide myself here so I get the full diploma. Okay, we've only got one thing left to do, and that is the tournament. So let's talk to this guy. 